So I've rewired the skid steer. I'm still not getting a spark. The good news is, is that I'm actually getting a voltage reader at the uh, ignition coil and uh, actually inside of the distributor. So I replaced the ignition coil. I'm not sure if I need the replacement or not. I just went ahead, I went to Tractor Supply and bought some generic parts uh, that I could use in the skid steer. I got a um, distributor cap. Of course, when I got from Tractor Supply, it was too big. I got a new uh, resistor. I got a six volt um, ignition coil. And I'll explain why I did a six volt in a second here. And then I also um, got some spark plug wires. I wanted to make sure I had all the necessary parts on hand if I needed them. If not, I could always return them. So what I have discovered here is after replacing the ignition coil, I still wasn't getting a spark. I took the 12 volt ignition coil out of our tractor and I tried running it that way. And that's how I determined that I was getting voltage to the distributor cap. So when, when you have, not the cap, sorry, the, the distributor itself. So when, you, when you're looking at these projects and you're, this will help you determine also whether or not you need a, a six volt coil or a 12 volt coil. But if you have a distributor that is what they call a contact breaker distributor. Um, and so what that has is it has contact breakers or some people call them ignition stops or contact stops, whatever. They are, um, as the ignition coil spins on the cam that goes down into the engine, uh, that those stops press and release real fast. And what, what that allows is for the, uh, the coil to charge and then release the spark and arc at the right times to hit the spark plugs. So if you have what they call a um, electronic ignition system, you don't have the contact breaker stops. So the, those ignition stops aren't there. What it is is you just have a charge that's going to the um, distributor and that, that charge is constant. So in order to make this a 12 volt system, what you would do is you would take a 12 volt coil and bypass the resistor and go straight to the distributor. When you do that, it puts on a, a constant 12 volt charge in the distributor, which would give you a harder spark and the, the spark would stay within the motor longer, burn up all the gas. It's, it's a much more efficient system. It's a smarter system. It's a newer system. The contact breaker system, uh, they still actually use it in airplanes because as it fails, it kind of slowly fails, whereas when the electronic system fails, it just goes and planes fall out of the sky. So, um, but in older equipment like this, that's what they use. They use the contact breaker. When you're, when you're using the contact breaker, you would have a six volt coil and you would have the resistor, which uh, restricts the, the voltage flow coming from your 12 amp system into that coil so you don't burn out the coil. As the breaker is released, the coil gains a charge and it has a hotter spark at that moment of release, but it is a very timed precision type uh, system. So it has to be exact. And I think what I have going on here is the distributor itself. When I opened it up, it had a lot of ants in it, a lot of eggs. There's some corrosion in there. I don't think that I'm getting the contact that I need to cause an arc and thus have sparks in my spark plugs. So what we're going to do is um, we have several methods that we can go about replacing this. We can replace the entire distributor, which is about two or $300, and it doesn't make sense because the cam's spinning, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. The other thing we could do is we could buy a rebuild kit for our distributor for $45, um, but you could also convert it to an electronic ignition system for $55. So if I, if I go that route, I would rather convert it to an electronic ignition, get the 12 volt coil, have a constant spark, and uh, be done with it. I also don't want to spend unnecessary money. I'm trying to make sure that this thing runs and the hydraulics work before I get into you know improving upon the system. So what I'm going to try and do is make some repairs to this distributor and see if I can't um, get this distributor to actually work correctly.